Finally, we're going to consider the speaking test in IELTS, which you'll be doing at a different time to uh, listening, reading and writing. Maybe on the same day, it's probably in a different centre, remember that, and also that it, it may be a different day, and you can often choose days, or they might assign you a date and a, a time. So let's discuss it briefly. There are 10 to 12 questions in part one. These questions are on different topics and they offer different tenses. You can, you have been asked to talk about lots of different situations. So there's three different topics, different times. So by time we mean you may be asked to discuss the past, the present, the future. That's quite common on these different topics. Now when we say personal questions, they mean just you talk about yourself and your own experience. Now in part two it's very different. Now you have a, it, it, although the question is quite similar to part one, it's also a personal question, it's also quite simple, but your answer is very different. You now have to provide a very long detailed answer for two minutes. This is really testing if you can talk now for a long time. IELTS wants to know, can the candidate talk for an extended period of time? Two minutes is quite a long time. And then in part three, the questions are going to be more abstract. Now the topic is similar to part two, but not the types of questions. Now in part three, they are not personal questions. They are the opposite now. They are abstract or general topics about different things that might be happening in the world or in your country.